YouTuber Danny Gonzalez has over 6.5 million subscribers and is essentially your run of the mill Vine style turn commentary channel in the vein of YouTubers such as Drew Gooden, who is one of his friends and has a successful career of his own with over 4 million subscribers himself. Not to say that Danny is like a bad YouTuber or anything, it's more just that he takes on like just very mainstream topics and similar to channels like him, Gooden, Jarvis Johnson, that sort of thing, they always take on like the most vanilla inoffensive opinion. But I mean, to be fair, that's probably why they're successful and why I've barely hit like. 400 subs. I wonder what's gonna win the bloody controversy wars. Trying to find the worst iPhone game. Or this YouTuber needs to be arrested even if it's online. <laughs> uh, I think one of the titles may be more inflammatory. Before you say anything, it's a format. He's using superlatives. It called him the worst. Uh, See, I said even is online needs to be arrested as a hyperbolic statement based on how he defended alleged predators. On the internet, there's been millions of people who have been arrested on their time on this earth. And especially depending on the country and context, they may have not done anything at all or they may have committed more serious crimes like murder. All even is online did was make a bad take on those of people that have been arrested for loads of other things. It doesn't illustrate a hierarchy, so uh, clearly uh, his video is worse. My god, are you still talking? Anyway, back to the point I was making, this is like the fifth time I've recorded this live. He may have vanilla opinions and video topics and stuff, but like uh, different strokes for different folks, which is also the same advice that I give to people who are master. But the problem with that is, when you're trying to make everyone happy, you literally can't make everyone happy. <laughs> and that's where we go to here. On the 20th of May 2024, Gonzalez uploaded a video that got 2.7 million views at the time of recording, titled Recreating Insane Dad Talk. And looking through the video at first glance, you would probably understandably assume the worst part of the video to be either the opera sponsorship or the cringe form of Vine Star humor. <laughs> But if you skip around four minutes in, you'll find the true evil. Yeah, 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 it's uh, it, it, it's that cop right there. As the comment section succinctly put it, literally people and children are dying because of what you are doing. <laughs> I am not unsubscribing, but I'm waiting one week after each upload to know which videos advocate for genocide. Your channel needs to take a stand at advocating for the right cause. Donate all revenue and remove the video you are responsible for so much violence and this is irresponsible do better keep in mind this comment is about a a <laughs> along the fact they also said when literally people and children as if children aren't human beings i guess this is a pro-abortion leftism brain rot back at it again i mean yeah i could spend forever reading a bunch of out of context comments on why this cup is triggering people but i mean it's also sort of my duty to like be somewhat fair and provide some level of information as the most trusted name in news what bro what are you talking about man you questioned me but uh scarce is gone team is like a 40 year old man making snapchat exclusives about youtuber news as if anyone cares and you get left with a socially awkward 17 year old and yeah this means we're dipping the internet toes or the stickman toes no you don't get any free images into the depths of the israel palestine conflict because you know what uh, me talking about it last time definitely didn't tank the views of this channel <laughs> I guess I'll just give you a brief explainer. On the 19th of October 2023, Starbucks and an associated union named Starbucks Workers United filed lawsuits against each other, one for trademark infringement and the other for defamation. Because following the October 7 attacks on Israel, the union had tweeted out for around 15 minutes a tweet saying solidarity with Palestine. And attached to that is a video of Hamas tearing down the fence at the Gaza Strip, which was part of the process before they like shot down a thousand people at the Nova Music Festival. The lawsuit actually lists a bunch of additional tweets I wasn't fully aware of including an emergency protest on October 7th titled Palestine resists occupation at the Israeli consulate. Israel just had a thousand people die and you're going to protest at the Israeli consulate. Keep in mind this was announced on October 7th and the protest was set for October 8th and they also had like over a hundred hostages taken and your response is to protest in front of the consulate as if people there probably had like no family connections. Look Israel is a relatively small country like what the hell? And Starbucks basically goes on to continue arguing that the workers union posting a bunch of pro Hamas content which again has nothing to do with their union activities and has a very large like similarity to to the real Starbucks logo which is definitely intentional. It's basically caused people to conflate the beliefs of the union to what Starbucks the company believes as well. And look it's not like it's just some random body. It is Starbucks workers who are posting this. Albeit it's not like the executives promoting this. But it is still Starbucks employees so I can see why. Starbucks was basically like a, a, no we're not supporting Hamas. And are really upset and if they had like a different name and logo and stuff it wouldn't be that much of an issue. On the same day the workers union sued Starbucks back. 
complaining that they want to continue using the Starbucks name. <laughs> they complain about union busting, which I mean, is an actual fair reason to boycott Starbucks. They claim Starbucks didn't provide proof that people were confused that Starbucks weren't the ones who made the statement. I mean, literally a senator tweeted out that Starbucks was supporting Hamas. I, I think that's enough of a source of confusion, especially with the thousands of likes on that tweet. And in response to Starbucks' statement, announcing the lawsuit and that they don't support Hamas. The workers' union says that the tweet was unauthorized. They deleted it within 40 minutes, even though they still actually made the tweet. And that quote unquote, no reasonable observer could view that tweet in context as expressing their view or position. The workers united supports terrorism. And I assume that's why you had to delete it within 40 minutes because it was a definitely innocent statement. Anyway, the workers union's lawsuit is basically saying that Starbucks is intentionally misrepresenting to the public their deleted tweet as support for Hamas rather than the Palestinian cause in order to Ghana. enough public support against unions and defaming them so they can have the justification to shut them down or something which is uh, really dumb. But regardless, since loads of people think that you have to support Hamas in order to support Palestinians which we actually talked about in my last video. Frogan is a Twitch streamer with 57.5 thousand followers and ever since the October 7th situation oh no huge drama in Israel in 2023 he's been a massive proponent for Palestine and has clashed with people's left his preacher foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America but as soon as it happens in the Middle East what they're doing is wrong lady please there's a massive difference between being pro-Palestine and pro-Hamas and then she replies saying what's it like being brain dead don't worry my next video won't be Israel-Palestine coded uh, I think pro-Palestine commentators especially on Twitter like uh, Jackson Pinkai and Mrs. I love making out in restaurants and once the hostage is shot dead. I've twisted the story to be like, uh, oh, Starbucks is shutting down dissent over Israel-Palestine, even though, as far as I'm aware, Starbucks literally doesn't even have any stores in Israel and hasn't for over a decade, so they don't really have any financial interest to protect her. And two, even if they were, to an extent, I don't really think that unions using the names of other companies should be making, like, political statements anyway. If you were fired for making them on your personal account, as long as they're not, like, full-on Nazi things, I'd, like, fully understand the argument, but uh, here, I think there's valid reasons to disagree. But regardless of the context making all these commenters and i barely showed even like five percent of the people angry about it look a bit dumb in the cause they're fighting for gonzalez in his appeal to like bow down to everyone as a vanilla content creator and knowing he has a mostly young audience who would be pro-palestine he decided to apologize for buying the evil cup and look ordinarily i would feel sorry to an extent for someone who's involved in this but if you're gonna intentionally make your fan base be like this it, it, it's your own fault i mean again i have the benefit of having like no subscribers so i actually have control of what fan base I'll get. Fan base with a very heavy quotations based on the content I'm producing now. Anyway, here's his statement on his community tab, which has like hundreds of thousands and likes and comments disabled because uh, it was genuinely getting like bullied really hard for the bloody Starbucks cup. I am seeing some comments about the Starbucks cup in my new video, and I just want to apologize for my ignorance on the boycott. As someone who thinks the ethnic cleansing happening in Palestine is horrible, I should definitely do better to stay informed. And truth be told, during this time in my life, I have been spending as little time on social media and news outlets as possible so there's a lot I don't see. I totally understand that seeing the Starbucks cup can look like I'm picking the side of this corporation that has been standing in the way of people standing up for pal <coughs> Palestine. I will do better in the future gang, I'm sorry. If your gangs are Hamas and sure. There are a lot of great places you can go to learn and support the people of Palestine right now, but special shout out to Creators for Palestine run by a bunch of creators I'm friends with. Oh yes, ran by his great friends like Hassan Baika. America deserved 9-11, dude. Who, by the way, got confronted live on stream by one of his followers for a situation exactly like this, except Hassan was drinking Coca-Cola, you know, which is at least a brand that is on the BDS list. And his followers are also telling him to do like faux activism. <laughs> anyway, for more of my opinions on the Creators for Palestine movement, you can go and watch my last video on the Frogan and Ludwig drama, which I made like a month ago now at this point, because that's an entirely different wild ride. But as for this one, uh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you like this video on the fact that I chose not to throw down the fact that i've basically finished all my exams right at the start of the video i mean i would have but i wouldn't want to sacrifice the watch time retention rate that i would get from starting immediately for a few seconds of a great comedic value comparing my content in the mainstream media oh yes yeah, so thank you stephen colbert for your always cogent and never cringe political commentary either way i'll probably make like one or two more videos in this style definite with a purple paper background and everything and then i, I don't know i'll just ask whether you want the full unedited videos like i did up to the crop cut video or you want the mixture of like animation and gameplay footage which allows more frequent uploads mainly because it, it's not shutting down my computer with the amount of ram i'm using on editing and i can deal with creators block by just throwing in some bloody gameplay
gameplay footage. Anyway, main lessons from today is that uh, Starbucks did nothing wrong. Danny Gonzalez did mainly nothing wrong. At least in these two situations, uh, if, if they all turn out to be pedos, uh, I don't want to get in trouble. And you can boycott something for any reason, including no reason, but uh, just don't make up BS excuses. My social media rats are at Heliophobia and with an underscore on my x slash Twitter account. And until next time, good night, epic gamers.